Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, man, we got a ton of new confirmed NBA 2K23 news from a guy who's been in the 2K community longer than I, okay? He has over a million subscribers, man, and he's given us his first impressions. We are going to react to the video and we are going to dissect his video and um, I'm gonna tell y'all exactly what I think about it because that's all y'all know at. Swante, did you see this? Did you see that? Can you tell us your opinions on this? Tell us your opinions on But yeah, man, y'all go uh, give a uh, shake down and subscribe and like on this video after y'all watch this full video, man. To do my video, on my first impressions after playing NBA 2K23. Now, it took me a little while to get this video going because I got okay. sick coming out of Vegas for that got NBA sick. Summer League event. Do y'all think maybe he wasn't too excited? Because you, you think when it come back, you know, he dropped his impressions, but he must have been really sick, man. I, I don't know, man. But I'm recovering now, and it's finally time to get this video going. Mm. Also, as a disclaimer, I played the next-gen version next of gen. NBA 2K23 on the PS. And by the way, every time someone flies out to 2K, bro, they always said, they always, it never fails. This wasn't the version I played. <laughs> they, they always say that, like, when it comes out to everyone else. And then they're playing play now, so it's gonna feel slower than what park and what the right dribble moves would be. So keep that in mind, bro. Five, and it was a very early build. We only had access to very a few teams. Build. It was 5v5 matchups, so no park, no city. I they saying this is that very early build. Okay, we gonna see it. It's, he seemed like you putting disclaimer for a raise, and you feel me? Uh, nothing that I can tell you guys about the builder just yet. It's okay. strictly just visuals they and gameplay related shit. impressions. One okay. of the things that this community likes to say whenever they see gameplay from the next 2K is that, oh, it looks just like the last 2K. Cause You're do. not actually able to determine the difference until you see a side-by-side -side comparison. Looking at gameplay on TikTok or YouTube or some trailer or some leaked footage never gives the game any justice. There's definitely uh, something different about the lighting and shading, some of the detail I'm seeing in some of the players' faces. Be There's been some gradual people. upgrades to the graphics every single year. If you guys yeah. compare NBA 2K22 to NBA 2K20, you'll see a major difference. If you compare 2K20 to 2K18, you'll see a big difference. What about but 16 to 15? But it's the year-to-year -year incremental changes that are hard to Them detect. Environment. After playing 2K23... I I'll say this. The players, they might look a little better, but like the the around atmosphere the the colors and stuff 14 15 and 16 look way better than all these new new 2ks i ain't gonna hold you bro like the park colors and i don't know man them, them bitches was beautiful spend some time i got lucky man mike hey, Wang hold on. my nigga got al green on the t-shirt I I know I know my nigga Barnes was hit. That nigga Al Green is a god. If y'all want good music, timeless music, listen to my nigga Al Green. That shit beautiful. Actually showed up to this event and spent some time with me while I was gaming. And he and I were able to share some thoughts and I was able to give him some feedback in real time. The very first thing I tried to do was some okay. of the cheese that we're used to doing Jeez. in 2K22. We had the Celtics, the Warriors, the Suns, and the Bulls. Let's and after see. using Steph Curry, Where'd who clearly had the highest ball handle, I didn't notice like quick first step gold or quick first step hall of fame, you know, speed what? boosting my way left or right. Oh, so, so what he's saying right now is this game sounds fucking trash. He's saying there's no speed gap. Y'all know what I say, my nigga. If there's no speed gap, there's no skill gap. If there's no skill gap. There's no fun gap, my nigga. He's saying with Stephen Curry, a, a speedy guy, a high ball handle guy, the game is very slow. Do we have another 2K18 coming? Uh-oh. Or giving me the ability to just completely explode in any direction. Damn, you can't explode anymore? They patch speed boosting? Oh shit. Y'all know the slower 2K has always been the worst. <laughs> 2K18. Oh shit. Shit looking bad. But you know, it's an early build. It's an early um build. And also maybe like Steph Curry didn't have the right SIGs on, or you know, maybe Park will be faster. You know, play now is always slower and you know. Most of you guards know how we do. We hit you with a size up and explode left. Hit you with a combo, explode right. 
Mm. That stuff wasn't really no taking place in this demo. When I'm playing 1v1 against other mm. real life players, this. Damn. No explosion? See, th th this is why we need real dribble gods, man. We need real dribble gods out there, man. Like, our ISO. Just like certain like meta players i think um shakedown mostly plays my career so he don't really know how to really hit that bitch you know like like really figure it out at the like the beginning of the year like the meta like style you know but i don't know man it, it's always tough but to play play now like they're the defense be like hitting you like a certain way and then the 5v5 and the ai it, it's it's always been hard especially in 2k22 to like score on the ai without knowing how to cheese them right so maybe he didn't know how to cheese the ai and stuff and that's why like you know he might have like caught some trouble you know still a severe penalty for them you know not predicting which direction you're gonna go in so you can still get by people no problem wait you wait, can wait, still, wait, wait. not predict one v one against Wait, wait. That stuff wasn't really taking place what? in this demo. When I'm playing 1v1 against other real life players, real there's still a players. severe penalty for them, you know, not predicting which direction you're gonna go in. So you can still get. Not predicting. Severe penalty for not di predicting which direction you're gonna go in. Still. There ain't no severe penalty? What you mean? What you talk about? Buy people, no problem. You can still ISO. It just didn't feel as twitchy, if that makes sense. There's a new jump shot meter. This shit ain't twitchy. It leaked. If you guys haven't seen it, here it is. Kind of reminds me of the 2K18, uh -huh. the 2K20 shot meter. I think that's everyone's favorite. But there's a new effect on it now. When you get a green release, it delays the little green animation that pops up. Yeah, I seen that shit, bro. Because I, I remember the first shot they showed, bro. They showed it was someone like shot a shot and it was like a full white. And it's the first shot we've seen. But he actually greened it. And there was like, it, it didn't show it till later because it went like right to replay. So it kind of adds a little bit more suspense. And for those of you guys that are used to playing on next gen, you know that we have the ability to force an aggressive dunk. It actually adds more yep. skill to dunking. But here's an Do y'all believe it adds more skill to dunking? Um, I would, here, here, here's what I, here's what I think. I think I've always wanted it to be a feature right i've always wanted it but it's like being abused by certain people but not a lot of people everyone usually sucks with it but some people can really abuse that hoe so i mean like you might need to ease up because like the real like skill people or just like the kids that have like some type of skill that be like playing they can they can really abuse that hoe bro we definitely need an aggressive feature. But the thing is, what I want to go away is I don't want other people to be able to see you using the the uh, dunk meter because then they they got they could time it right. Um, you should only see it, you know. But that that's how I feel about it. Exclusive. Since I was kicking it with Mike Wang, I got a chance to see the new dunk meter. New dunk and it's meter. very similar to the new jump shot meter. Okay. It's no longer a big circle that you have to hope you release in time oh, and kind of block some of the animations. Oh, nah, it looks just like the jump shot meter, but there's a catch. They changed the button commands. It's no longer just hold down on the right stick and you can activate a forced dunk okay. and potentially posterize somebody. I think holding down now is more of a flashy dunk. All I know is Mike. Flashy dunk? What's the new shit? Wang was there laughing at me the whole time. He did it like three times and I couldn't figure it out. I'm definitely gonna need what? some more time with the game, but I had everybody that I faced. Hey, hey, young cool. I, I, hey, don't tell me you turned into a combo, nigga. What, what do we gotta do? He couldn't figure out how to do a activate the dunk meter. What's going on? <laughs> we, we got Mike Wang, sorry ass, laughing at you. What the fuck? Give it a try and you know try to figure it out, and nobody could figure it out the whole time I was at the event. <laughs> that shit broke. <laughs> no one could figure out how to how to do the aggressive contact dunk. That's a red flag. First red flag in this bitch. Well, not the first, but you know they said the game's slow. The game. I know a lot of y'all old heads probably happy as shit. 
Oh, the game's low. Oh, oh it's speed boosting. Quick first step's not real. There's no way you can have changes in speed. That's not real. We want a real slow molasses 2K because we're so ass and just, we can't handle the real comp guys. Oh. You know, e e even though like there's little kids that are moving crazier than you see people move on a video game when we're like 99 overall, you know, all, all that other stuff. But there's little kids that could dribble like, way crazier, no stamina restrictions, especially the 21. You know, I, I don't see how people in real life can dribble crazier than in the game, bro. Y'all really, y'all don't be watching basketball and looking at these clips. These niggas be going crazy, bro. They be spinning around in all types of shit, bro. Y'all y'all just be playing them uh weak ass niggas at the YMCA and shit. Y'all don't really see no real hoopers out there. Post scoring felt really good, especially if you're backing someone down with a lot of strength. Post the moment you hit that fade Shade. on them, you create a tremendous amount of space Shade. and it's really easy to green. This might have something to do with Shade. Michael Jordan being on the cover and Devin Booker because they all have that mid-range game, that turnaround jump shot added to their game as well. Just letting you guys know that the Shake, you can't be serious, bro. You've been in the community. You know that post scoring is the most overpowered thing in 2K that needs to be patched and decimated to the fucking floor. It needs to go. You know this, Shake. May, may, maybe, because I, I, I see you be in parking and stuff sometimes, but maybe you never play ones or twos. Maybe that's why you don't really, you don't know the true power of these niggas. They're broken, bro. They've been broke since 17. Like, they're the most broken thing in the game. They need to decimate. I know when y'all like playing wreck and stuff, like some, some like, maybe there's some old heads watching this or just some of you little fucking Timmies, you little cheesers, you know, like, it's cool, like, oh, like, I did a fadeaway, ah, you know, but, bro, in the right hands, they ruin the game. Like, it's not fair. Like, they're they're shooting from the three-point line, greening it, okay? Like, with the with the fading from the uh, post scoring, they're shooting it contested in your face. People have max defensive badges, max defensive stats. Jumping timing, greening 40%. The hooks is it's ridiculous from deep half from the uh free throw line. It needs to be decimated, bro. Like make it real to where like you know someone slightly contested and like you know you got the right ratings and stuff, then then cool. But if you heavily contested, bro, it it, it can't be dropping like that, bro. <laughs> it can't post fades feel really nice this year in 2k23 but it was pretty good in 2k22 as well it's good every year <laughs> one of the most noticeable aspects of the game was the on ball defense on that ball 1v1 defense. interaction when i was okay. using chicago i was using lonzo ball okay and i couldn't believe how well i was able to lock up steph curry mm. with this guy lonzo ball at 6'6 six, like six, that lateral quickness and the ability oh, to oh bump the defender to, as fast as i was able to do it Gave me some real me high excited. hopes for perimeter defense this year. I remember joking Don't around with Mike Wang about how it seems like he's trying to cut the cheese, but this community will always find a way. And he looked oh, at me you and no, it, it, it's not the community. Y'all be uh, y'all be hating on the 2K community too much. Y'all just play 2K too much. It's every video game, every video game. There's always people that find the cheese. It's not just 2K, bro. Like get it together. Say gaming. Call of Duty, bro, what? Fortnite, bro, what? You seen them builders? <laughs> Building towers and shit? <laughs> bro, come on, man. Come on, man. Every video game, every genre in life, there's always people that find the exploits, man. Let's hope that defense is actually improved and it's not them actually nerfing the offense. And the defense, it, it needs to be stronger than the offense overall. Like the defense needs to be buffed by like 300% or more, bro. And the offense should have everything it's ever had besides, you know, all them goddamn contested shots and all that bullshit. But movement wise, it should be crazy. But the defense needs to be OP like it was on 16. It basically said challenge accepted with a smile on his face. He challenge was basically accepted. challenging me to figure out some cheese. 
Mmm. He was challenging him to figure out some cheese. Mmm. How y'all feel about that? <laughs> Now we didn't have hours in the, upon hours. 2K18 coming, my boy. Let's go. 18 drawing this bitch. With this game. Of course, once we do, and you guys. I can't wait to play this whole, bro. Bro, I'm a. <laughs> bro, I, bro, it, it, bro, it's to the point for me. I don't care if this shit is ass or good. It doesn't matter. I'm all about my grind, getting my bread. It don't matter, bro. If the shit ass are good, I don't give a fuck no more. Like, I'm gonna just laugh and make fun of these niggas, bro. Like, what? I start pumping out videos and other people start, you know, okay. figuring out some of the things you can do in mm -hmm. the game. Pretty sure somebody's gonna figure some stuff out. Uh -huh. But in this demo, during this event, it felt like defense was really strong. Or at least it felt like we might not be able to lean on the cheese that we're used to in order okay. to get by. I felt like the closeout mm. speeds on jump shots was way too fast. You would Oh, he said he finds he found out that the closeout speeds on jump shots were way too fast. That's a W. That's a W. But he might be confused, and I'm explaining to you right here. When you play play now, bro, they give you super slow jump shots. When you could play park in, in my career and stuff, but some of y'all probably play now players. But when you could play park and all that you don't have to use those normal bases you get to design your jump shot and put it on full speed so you know a lot of play now players they don't get to have those super fast jump shots so maybe he's shooting on like a 50 percent jump shot and he's like bro i can't even get a shot open you know so you know probably not take this like a little too you know see somebody who looks like they're wide open and that space gets closed out mm. so fast as long as someone jumps out at him. And that brings mm. me to my next. I, bro, if they made that like that to where defense is so responsive that you could close out. Oh, my God. This game would be um, the skill gap would be tremendous. That would mean defense is responsive and all that, man. It's moderate concern. The overall game speed. This game definitely felt a lot slower than 2K22. And that's. He's saying it felt slower than 2K22. That is a huge red flag. Slow 2Ks are ass. But, you know, it could be because he's playing Play Now or, you know, Alpha version or, you know, that type of stuff. But, um, I don't know, bro. It's usually the case with every 2K. Every time it drops, it feels a lot slower. And then the community complains over Twitter and social media. And then Mike Wang puts out an update and they increase the speed. In fact, cap, cap, you capping, boy. They've only did that shit one time and reverted it instantly. What they actually do is they slow down the game. Just like they did this year, they slowed down the game last year too. Because the game was really fast and we fucked with it, right? And then, like, people start complaining, they patch it. It's really the, the casuals and bums that be slowing down the game. They slow down 22, slow down 21. They slow down 16 on patch 6. They slow down 15. You, you know, it's a reverse. They be slowing this bitch down. They need to speed it up. You know, if a nigga can't check me, the nigga can't check me. He can't keep up, my nigga. But the defense got to be crazy, you know. The defense gotta be buffed. I remember in 2K20 when people were complaining the game was too slow, and then they ramped it up so fast that they had centers out there running around looking and like point guards. And then they reverted guards. it. Jump shot speed felt they reverted it slower than normal as well, and that might have contributed to why the closeout speed felt so fast. Even though yeah. the jump shot speed feels slower and the closeout speed felt really fast. It still didn't really deter you from greening the shot. I mean, a lot of times it felt like guys were all over you by the time you released it because they were able to close out so fast mm. with that slower jump shot speed, but it didn't stop people from greening shots. Most of us are gonna mm. play my So he's saying the game ass still. He's saying you could shoot the nigga face. He's saying you could spray a nigga in his face, Windex that nigga. <laughs> like, Take that, bitch, nigga. <laughs> green. It could be the difficulty also. But, I mean, usually, bro, if people can green, like, off of just getting the game, that, that might be a red flag. So, I, I, I honestly think every 2K coming out, it, it's going to be...
super easy to shoot in and i don't think contested shots are ever gonna go away now because last year bro if y'all didn't see people were like really dick sucking the game and in the start and they, they've never received positive praise like that ever in their 2k cycle but you want to know why they received that praise because off rip all the creators could green no badges no learning the timing the new gameplay they could green off rip so then when they went and got their badges they really couldn't miss aiden sucking the dick of the game you know every everyone was sucking the game's dick you know the 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 golden ticina was hitting them fades from three all of that they loved it they loved it right but they don't realize the 22 is the easiest shooting 2k ever and that's a red that that's a huge problem man uh 18 19 22 and 21 completely broken not counting current gen 21 but uh the shooting just way too easy dog way too easy my career in the city in the park and it could be the difficulty also park or whatever and we're gonna create our own jump shots so most people are gonna find out the fastest releases yeah, anyway yeah. So jump shot speed might not be a big concern, yep. but it just felt a little different playing with these real life players. Left stick dribbling was a little overpowered in this demo. Left we all know that dribbling. left stick dribbling is- Hey, let's go, nigga. Hey, I know you motherfucking wreck randoms. Y'all love that shit. Y'all niggas don't ever do a dribble move. I know y'all old gym bitch niggas. Y'all niggas love that shit because you ain't never do a dribble move. Y'all. Y'all go the whole 2K cycle without touching your right stick, boy. What the fuck wrong with you, nigga? <laughs> but he said left stick dribbling was overpowered. That sounds crazy. What? It's a little harder to defend against unless that perimeter defense upgrade allows you to really get a nice bump on that with really good defenders. Left stick dribbling could be a, a slight problem. Wait, wait, he's saying left stick dribbling was beating perimeter D, so the perimeter D might actually be ass. Hey, I, I hope they bring back that walk back. <laughs> I know that shit was cheesy as shit, but it was so funny when you hit someone with that walk back, bro. Like, that shit was hilarious, bro. Hilarious. <laughs> but I know y'all niggas are gonna get on me for that shit. Y'all hate that walk back shit. Upon release, catch and shoot threes were definitely going in without even having to create so much space from the defender. In fact, if you okay. just dot the corner or hit the hash and immediately take the shot with a good shooter, you had a good chance of just greening that release. Yeah. Right stick hands up defense had little effect on that jump shot. So they might want to tweak that. I'm not saying it was an exploit, but it definitely <laughs> felt like a much easier, more shake shake i want to tell you something if you think that whole you think that whole fucked up imagine what these stage niggas gonna do with that shit you know all the like the comp like or like the the people that be trying to cheese like i don't know man more successful strategy than trying to force the ball inside in 2k22 mm. pretty much everybody can chase down block uh you you see a lot of blocks Facts. in the paint Facts. Almost, it's a big threat. It's the real reason why we all have to use quick drop-ins in order to get those exactly. fast dunks or, you know, otherwise you get... Exactly. Look, look, paint defense is garbage, right? It's garbage. But the reason, like, it's like a... Here, listen, listen, listen. Because I know y'all niggas be trying to argue this shit. Paint defense is garbage. You can make so much contested shit. But the chase downs, the reason them hoes be getting... Like they're they're completely overpowered this year and it's too much is because they slow down the dunks and the layup speed from past years so that people could get more chase downs. Y'all might not have known y'all might not have known the reason, but now I told you that's why chase downs happen way more, because they slowed the speed down. Okay, they should have been they they should have been like sped up layups and dunks but for some reason they slowed it down thinking that oh this is going to help the game people are going to get more blocks now and all that like say 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 i'm at say i'm at right here and i'm finna go for a dunk or a layup right and the defender's at the three point line okay this is a beautiful example 
if I go for a dunk or a layup, this nigga's right here has a chance of sending my shit, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. If I beat a nigga, I beat the nigga, bro. It is it's crazy. It, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be like that. And then sometimes when you're driving, like your angle can like slow you down. It's kind of annoying. And um, when you switch the hand of the ball, it slows you down too. That needs to be addressed too, bro. Because when people are running fast breaks in real life, when they switch the hand with the ball, like it kind of go faster sometimes. But some for some reason in 2K, when you do that, and then uh, they can catch up to you because they're just running like a straightaway. I don't know, man gonna get blocked almost 90% of the time. Not in 2K23, in fact, even with Lonzo Ball, I was trying to chase down Chris Paul, and I just couldn't block him. It just didn't happen often enough. So it definitely felt like they toned down the, the shot blocking in the paint, unless maybe you're an elite defender. We did see DeAndre Ayton get a few blocks in the paint too, but nothing like 2K22 where you could actually challenge people when they go to the rim, which forced us all to use quick drop-ins off one. Nice. Just seemed like 2K figured that out, saw that we all were exploiting those animations, and then they made a move and they, they tried to change it. Like in 22, you didn't really see people driving to the rim doing layups because they knew it was gonna get blocked. Nice. 23, it feels like layups are back. All in all, the game did okay. feel great. It felt way more realistic than 22 feels. It's definitely gonna take some time to get realistic. used to. It feels like 2K is trying to adjust to a more realistic feel and get rid of some of the jerky, twitchy animations. I played with NBA players and other influencers, and I didn't really hear anybody complaining about the game itself. So my takeaway and final mm -hmm. thoughts is that 2K23 feels a lot more realistic. That's actually got me kind of excited. Realistic. This is giving me 2K18 vibes, I ain't gonna hold you. But everyone who went to play 18, they love that bitch, so I don't know about the game because it felt like I have to learn something new and be excited for something totally different again. Don't get it twisted, man. Some of your favorite animations or button commands are still there with the dribbles. I was still able to do the explosive behind the back moves, the momentum dribble. Explosive behind the back returns? What? The explosive? Are you talking about the real one? The 2K21 that they patched and took out? Bro. If they put that hole back in, I'm going to be happy. I, I love that explosive behind the back. But, you know, then they patched it. They, they probably added the slow one. Bulls and all that, it just didn't feel as twitchy. I had a lot of fun playing 2K23. Shout out to Ronnie 2K, OG Constant, and all the guys. Fuck OG Constant. Fuck Ronnie 2K. Guys that flew me out there, got my face re scanned for the game. That was really cool, too. I came back sick, but I'm back on the horse. And now that I played 2K23, I've got a whole... Them dirty ass niggas got you sick, my boy. Hey man, shout out to Young Shake, man. Y'all go check him out. Y'all can go um watch his video uninterrupted and um <laughs> all that. But but yeah, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this news down below, bro. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. I'm gonna be covering all the 2K23 news, best dribble moves, best jump shots, hilarious toxic gameplay, best tips, all that, man. So make sure y'all sub up, my boy. All year we gonna be on this hoe. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.